Hello beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you so much for joining me for another cleaning motivational video. As you can see, I will be tackling my bedroom, also bringing in another piece of furniture, moving some things around, getting my makeup area done. Yeah, there's a lot that's going to take place in this video. But before we hop into the video, I want to take this time and thank Lumi for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much Lumi for working with me. It is a pleasure. I know a lot of people think of deodorant as it's just for your underarms, right? But Lumi is different. It can be used anywhere externally on your body and it actually prevents external body odor from happening in the first place. Unlike most natural deodorants that attempt to mask the odor, Lumi's unique aluminum free formula stops the odor causing reaction from happening in the first place. Now, when Lumi first reached out to me, I'm like, Absolutely, I, I would love to work with them. I've been using their products for over a year. Actually, in my old home, I started using their products, bought it with my own money, and I absolutely love it. That's how long I have been using it. So I definitely want to tell you 100% that their products are legit. They are legit. Now, this acidified body wash that I'm using is amazing. I definitely recommend that. I need that in a bigger bottle. It's unscented. Of course, I love things that have a scent, but neither here nor there. It works amazing. It works amazingly, guys. I'm trying to tell you. When I tell you, so this is right here. This is what I've been using, the Clean Tangerine, this deodorant. I've been using this. I actually had the deodorant as well, but I ran out of it. But again, these products work so well. You can put them under your arms. I like to put mine a little bit under the boobs as well because why not? And then also you can put them even on the bottom of your feet. I did that in the summer, which keeps your feet fresh because you're sweating. You can put them, you know, down in your little private parts area. You, again, all externally, but it really does. It stops any odor. It stops the odor. Oh my gosh, it works amazing. I cannot tell you. Another thing that I like is their wipes, which I showed, the, showed you at the beginning. The wipes are amazing. I love that they're small, like travel pack. You can throw them in your purse. You can throw them if you're traveling. You can keep them at work. Again, they work amazing. But again, I love all of their products because they really are good. So let me tell you really quickly about the Lumi Starter Pack. It's a great deal for new customers with incredible savings. It comes with a full size stick of deodorant, a cream deodorant tube and two free products and free US shipping. And just for my followers, Lumi is giving you a total discount of almost 40% when you order at lumi.deals slash Siobhan. And then you're gonna enter the code Siobhan at checkout. I'll definitely leave all of that information for you in the description box below. You have to try them and then definitely leave me a comment. Seriously, you have to try them. I love Lumi products. So again, Lumi deodorant is a doctor developed whole body aluminum free deodorant for pits, privates and beyond. It's clinically proven to provide 72 hour odor control, 72 hours, even on sensitive skin. Lumi prevents external body odor from happening in the first place by stopping the odor causing reaction from happening on your skin. So it works as a pre-deodorant, not a deodorant. Lumi obliterates all body odor and the undue stress that comes with it. Think about that. You're worried you're going on a date or you're worried, you know, you're going to be out in the heat with the kids at their soccer games or whatever. You want to keep the odor away. Lumi is the way to go. It definitely stops that odor. It is, it'll block it up to 72 hours. It's a whole body deodorant. Guys, you can put it wherever you wanna put it. I love, love, love it. It's aluminum and baking soda free. It has a wide range of scents that, I mean, really there's something for everybody. And I have never been disappointed. I've had a couple of things. I really like their stuff. I can't say that enough. You have more naked confidence more odor-free confidence between your showers, and you always feel fresh no matter what is happening. So I definitely want to ask y'all to check the description box below, okay? Definitely check the description box below. 
Get your Lumi starter pack with almost 40% off for new customers. And definitely use my code Siobhan. I'll have everything down there below for you. I can't wait for y'all to try Lumi. Save that 40% on your starter pack and use my code Siobhan. Thank you Lumi for sponsoring today's video. So beautiful people, it is time to clean up this room. I apologize, I did make my bed. I thought I was recording it, but I did not. But I did change my sheets and I made the bed. I love, love, love fresh sheets. But what I will tell you guys, the sheets that I love the most are my, what are they called? They are like the flannel linen sheets. I got them from Walmart. They are amazing. I'm going to try to link them down below for you. I have a queen size bed and I think I might have paid $30 for the sheet set if I'm not mistaken. It came with a fitted, a flat, and two pillowcases. And I'm pretty sure if they're, no, they're not called flannel. They're jersey sheets. Jersey. I absolutely love them. I have them in red. I need to get them in white because I would prefer white bedding. But then again, I really don't care because I'm the only one sleeping in this bed. So I just need it to be nice and comfortable and clean and cozy when I get in it, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I am going to try to find the link, link it down in the description box for you. These are my absolute favorite, favorite sheets. So, you know, as of right now, but I love them, love them. I thought it was funny so I did get a ton of comments on the porch video when a lot of people was telling me you know don't forget to water the plants get the little watering can which I do have that um, also someone told me to get the little upside down watering like bucket uh, little things that you put in the in the flowers so that they continuously get water I think I will order those because those are really cool I did see those years ago but I think I can order those off of Amazon. And yeah, some people were saying, you know, how can you forget to water your plants and so forth? I don't know. I got a ton of comments. I thought it was super funny. I've been doing really good. Every other day I go out and water the plants every other day. The kids have been reminding me, although it's in my head, but they, the twins really enjoy going out and watering the flowers. So they have been getting watered. They are still nice and vibrant, which I like. Again, the weather here, which I think all around has been pretty comfortable. This past weekend, we had 70 plus degree weather, which is so nice for November. So hmm, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. So I have been watering the flowers, guys, just so you know, and I feel pretty good about it. I'm, I'm trying my best to stay on top of it, but I really don't use I'm one of those people where we don't use the front door we don't so it's kind of like like I said before it's out of sight out of mind but again I do have a an alarm on my phone I do tell myself to every other day it's set to go and water the flowers when I get home from work and it's been working out also the kids wanted me to decorate for Christmas outside so I do plan on decorating for Christmas with decorations and lights hopefully and all of that good stuff and I think we have a really cute theme that we're going with for Christmas. And I hope I can find everything that I'm looking for. But in my head and what I've explained to the kids, they seem to like it. So hopefully I can find it. I can't wait to share that with you. But since we didn't get to decorate outside, like for Halloween, with all those direct decorations, we do definitely want to decorate for Christmas. So Stay tuned for that. I'm definitely going to take y'all shopping with me to get the stuff because I haven't bought anything yet. And then we're going to decorate. But I think it'll be fun. I really do. So y'all know that my bedroom is typically the last place that I, I kind of think of in terms of okay I need to clean this up not in a bad way but I just I've been trying to stay on top of everything else like the downstairs the kids room making sure the bathrooms the hallways and everything and when I come upstairs to my room it's to you know get ready for bed and lay down go to sleep 
or it's in the morning, I'm getting up, I get myself dressed and I head out for the day. So I'm in my room in the very early morning and at night when I come upstairs to finally kind of lay it down. So I've been trying to do better with keeping the space clean. It's more of clothes, you know, because sometimes I will put on two or three different outfits depending on, you know, what I'm looking for or how I'm trying, what, where I'm going, if I'm going to work. Some things I have and I feel like every day or every week it changes. Like I may like these jeans, they may fit good and then the next week they don't fit well. So I have to, of course, take them off. I put them in the giveaway or I really like this shirt, but it doesn't fit the way I want and so forth. So I do try on several different outfits before I actually head out the door. And instead of, you know, sometimes I don't hang things up right away or whatever. That's what it is. But for the most part, the room really wasn't that bad. I was able to clean it up pretty quickly, fairly quickly. And then I did get dressed because right now I'm kind of like in my lounge wear. I do still have a ton of extra big t-shirts that I don't know. They're just comfortable, guys, you know, just comfortable. So I just throw those on with some little pants in the house or shorts and keep it moving. But I did get dressed and then I, yeah, I did clean up the twins room as well as the hallway and stuff as well. So you'll see that video coming up probably within the next couple days as well. But yeah, I'm just getting all of this tidied up, throwing away anything that I don't need, organizing. I have a ton of books and I do read a lot and I like to read different books for different days. Like every day I'm not going to pick up the same book and keep reading it. Um, it's just not me. I like variety. So, and then I'll go back to that book. I guess everything is kind of on like a little rotation. So is everyone ready for Christmas? Yeah, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm excited, but I'm not ready for Christmas. I'm excited to go shopping, but now the kids are getting older. The twins don't really play with toys. Uh, Chris and Yana and London, they want the bigger gifts like a PS5, the Apple Watches, you know, let's upgrade their phones, things like that. So it's not as fun. I like buying the toys. I like wrapping stuff, all of that. So I'm not really looking forward to it, but I am looking forward to decorating and for us baking and the different challenges and stuff that we have planned on doing and our, our yearly stuff that we always do. Now I'm going to clean up my makeup area and believe it or not, guys, Kinsley uses my makeup area more than I do. <laughs> That's why it looks a mess. She absolutely loves doing her makeup. She would do it every single day if she could. She knows all about foundation, um, contouring, uh, concealer, everything, mascara. Like, she wants to do it all. I think it's hilarious. I think it's super cute. By the time she's a teenager, 15, 16, she should be a pro, to be honest with you. But anyway, so I'm just cleaning up my makeup. I'm putting things back where they belong. She called herself reorganizing my makeup area. Goodness, these kids, these kids. Anyway, um, if you're wondering what I put on, I usually will put on like tinted moisturizer. I don't really use foundation. Um, I bought foundation. I might have used it maybe twice last year, but I usually will use like a tinted moisturizer, something like that. I will do my eyebrows. I like to just keep them either waxed or I will shave them myself. And then I might do a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, I do get my eyelashes done like every two weeks, which I like because to me, it just makes me look a little bit more put together. And yeah, I keep my lip gloss and that's about it. Maybe a little bit of blush depending on where I'm going. Hmm, nothing, nothing serious to be honest with you. I love makeup. I think it's amazing. I think it's beautiful. I, you know, I think it enhances your beauty. I really do. I don't think it changes, you know, some people might use it to change different features or whatever on their, their face, but I think it just enhances your beauty to be honest with you. But yeah, so I'm just cleaning this up. It was a total disaster. It was, but 
you know, that's how it gets sometimes when you're getting ready in the morning or like I said, when you have a nine year old who likes to play in your makeup. <laughs> so I'm going to get this together and then I'll finish up the living, the, the bedroom. I love this little desk area because it number one is super cute with all the little decor that I have and everything, but it's super functional. So the drawers, you can actually get these from Ikea. They're like, they're called Alex drawers. They're 80, I think, or $90 for the drawers. I got mine from Michael's when they were having a sale and I believe I paid like $50 for them. So, and then I do have the top of the desk is from Ikea. I believe I paid like $20 for that desk. And then you can buy the legs separately for $5 per leg. This mirror, I did pick up from Ikea as well. And I do like the square shape of it because it just goes with the aesthetic. I know circles and the ovals and everything are in right now, but this kind of works out perfectly for this area. But yeah, I do like how everything is organized. I can come over here, do my makeup, put on some different perfume if I want, moisturize, you know. I have my earrings, my jewelry and everything all organized over here as well. And it's just a nice little space. But again, I have a nine-year-old who loves, Kinsley loves to look cute like me. <laughs> like I like to look cute when I go outside. I like to look put together for the most part, you know. She's very similar to me when it comes to that. Kate could care less. She don't care about her hair getting combed. She don't care about any of that. She's just really low key, laid, laid back, you know, all of that. Um, London is very similar to me as well. She likes to look nice. She likes to match. She likes her earrings in. She likes to be moisturized, all of that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just getting this together. I did, have, I did have a few things that I had to take back to Walmart. So just getting those items together and this box right here was stuff that I was giving to Ayana so I was getting that all nice and packed up for her So I did get a new camera. It is the Canon M50 and I like the camera, but there's one thing that I don't like. It cuts off after 30 minutes of recording. So that's just the way the camera was made. I do not like that feature at all whatsoever. I have to remember after every 30 minutes, if I'm cleaning or doing something, I have to go and make sure the camera is back on. Now I did record on the camera and some of the footage was corrupted or whatever I can't export it into my computer which is oh it just makes me so mad guys it, burn, it burns me up that is why I really like recording on my cell phone because I never have that problem never ever ever now I did buy like I said I bought the new camera own money I brought two brand new SD cards 
So it's not like I'm using old SD cards. They're brand new out of the pack. All I did, I didn't change any of the settings on the camera. All I did was put the new battery in, you know, the SD card, turn it on and hit record. Why is some of the footage corrupt? That doesn't even make sense to me. So that the footage that I can't export is when I was cooking my baked spaghetti. So I wanted to add that into the video. I cannot do that. It's just disappointing. I don't know. It's just disappointing. So tell me guys if y'all have the Canon M50. I don't know. I'm thinking about returning it. But I'm going to try again. I'm going to record again. And hopefully everything goes according to plan. If not, it definitely has to go back. I'll just get something else. So I had bought this four cube organizer from Ikea over a year ago. Yeah, because I got it when I was at the old house. And I had this in my son's room, but he really wasn't using it. So I said, you know what? I can use this upstairs in my room as like a bench. I ordered these gold feet from Amazon, which I'll link down below in my Amazon storefront for you guys. And again, this four cube organizer, very sturdy. I haven't put anything in it just yet, but again, it's just nice to have extra storage and have like a little bench at the end of your bed. You'll get to see that momentarily. So I did have the drawers. That is like a, it's like a drawer insert. So I just flipped it around so that when I turn it on its side, the drawers will be able to go in properly. So now I'm going to add the feet that I picked up from Amazon, which were so, so reasonable. I absolutely love them. The gold, it's so cute. And yeah, I'm going to put this together. I'm pretty sure I paid, hmm, probably no more than like $70 for this four cube organizer, if I'm not mistaken. It really wasn't that much, but again, I had already had it and he wasn't using it. So I said, you know what? I'll just turn this into a bench for my room. And that's what I did. Baby, no, I don't want to go. You know how much I hate sleeping alone. I can never make it on my own. all for reusing things that you have in your home if you can I don't know if y'all remember but when I first moved into the old house the one that I was renting I did a lot of thrift shopping and things like that Facebook market and you know all of those resale places basically and you can find some really nice stuff and again my son was not using this and I was like this would be perfect to put upstairs in my room it really would so I'm glad that I was able to reuse this and save a little bit of money. I sat on it. I didn't show myself sitting on it in the video, I don't believe. But it's very sturdy, guys. It holds me with no problem. 
If I wanted to, I can do like a little bench cushion or something like that. But for the most part, it works perfectly fine. So here we are with the final reveal of the room. And I think it looks really nice, clean, tidy. There are some things that I can move around, of course, but it is just a bedroom where I can come and relax and go to sleep. Now, I do have those shoe organizers over there. Of course, we have the stuff that is going downstairs. I always put it by the steps, so don't worry about that. But all of the clothes are picked up. A lot of stuff is being given away. That's my workout stuff under the TV. I do plan on getting a TV console to go under the TV. So you'll see that very soon. The floors are clean. All the clothes are put away. Everything looks nice. Everything is tidy. I do have more storage in here, which I absolutely love. I could always put, I can put anything in there, to be honest with you. Extra sheets and blankets and different stuff like that. My closets, I did have someone ask again, the closet systems that I got in my room are from Ikea. I will link those down below in this video. The shoe organizers are from Ikea as well. And yeah, the room is, oh, I do plan on removing that circle mirror right here and getting a full length mirror. Other than that, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check the links down in the description box. Check out Lumi. You will not be disappointed. And thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all. Bye. Mwah.